Welcome to this week's Wednesdays in Prayer. We are thanking God once more for another opportunity where we can meet together for reflection and prayer. Today our lesson comes from Matthew 26, 14 to 16. Then one of the twelve, the one called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest and asked, What are you willing to give me if I deliver him over to you? So they counted out for him thirty pieces of silver. From then on, Judas watched for an opportunity to hand him over. This is the word of the Lord. The Wednesday of Holy Week is sometimes called Spy Wednesday because it is believed to be the day Judas Iscariot conspired with the religious authorities to betray Jesus. It marks the beginning of the plot against Jesus leading up to his crucifixion. In the somber shallows of Holy Week, we encounter the heartbreaking account of Judas Iscariot's betrayal of Jesus. It's a narrative that reminds us of the painful reality of human weakness and the profound cost of betrayal. Imagine the scene. Judas, one of Jesus' closest disciples, succumbing to the attraction of greed and ambition. He seeks out the religious authorities, willing to exchange the precious bond of friendship for a handful of silver coins. In that moment, the weight of his decision is profound. The betrayal of trust, the abandonment of loyalty, the forsaking of love. Yet, in our reflection on Judas's action, we are confronted not only with his failure, but also with our own vulnerabilities. How often do we, too, trade integrity for personal gain? How frequently do we prioritize our desires over commitments to God and others? But amid the darkness of betrayal, there is light. A light that shines from the unwavering love and grace of Jesus Christ. Even as Judas plots his betrayal, Jesus extends forgiveness and offers redemption. His love knows no bounds, reaching out to embrace even those who turn their backs on him. As we journey through Holy Week, let us reflect on the cost of betrayal in our own lives. Let us examine our hearts and acknowledge the times when we have fallen short. And let us turn to Jesus the one who bore the weight of our sins on the cross, offering us the gift of reconciliation and the promise of new life. May we find hope in the midst of darkness, grace in the face of betrayal, and redemption in the boundless love of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I invite us as we now go to prayer to offer a prayer recognizing our weaknesses and the importance of loyalty and integrity in friendship. Let us pray. Dear gracious God and our Heavenly Father, as we come before you, we humbly acknowledge our weaknesses and vulnerabilities. We confess, O Lord, the times when we have faltered in our commitment to you and to those we hold dear. Forgive us, we pray, for the moments when greed, ambition, or self-interest have clouded our judgment and led us astray. In the shadows of Holy Week, we reflect on the betrayal of Judas and recognize echoes of our own frailties in his actions. Help us, O God, to confront the darkness within us with honesty and humility. Grant us the courage to examine our hearts and the strength to turn away from the parts of deceit and betrayal. Teach us, Lord, the true meaning of loyalty and integrity in friendship. May we cherish the bonds of trust that unite us with one another and with you. Help us to be faithful companions, steadfast in our commitment to love, and support one another through every trial and triumph. Father, grant us the wisdom to recognize the sacred trust placed in our hands, 
the precious gift of friendship. Help us to honor this gift with unwavering loyalty and unwavering integrity. May our words and actions reflect the depth of our commitment to those we call friends, showing them the same grace and compassion that you lavish upon us. Lord, we lift up before you all those who are struggling in their relationships, grappling with feelings of betrayal or mistrust. Bring healing and restoration to fractured friendships, O God. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon hearts that are wounded and weary, that they may experience the healing balm of your love and the peace that surpasses all understanding. We also pray for the strength to resist the temptations that lead us away from you and from one another. Shield us from the snares of selfishness and pride and guide us in the paths of righteousness and truth. May our lives be living testimony to your faithfulness and grace, drawing others into the warmth of your embrace. Lord, we thank you for the gift of friendship, a reflection of your boundless love for us. May we cherish and nurture these sacred bonds, knowing that through them we catch glimpses of your presence and your glory. We pray, O oh God, for the grace to walk in the footsteps of Jesus, who offered forgiveness even to those who betrayed him. Fill our hearts with your love, that we may extend mercy and compassion to all who have hurt or wronged us. Grant us the wisdom to build bridges of reconciliation and the strength to forgive as we have been forgiven. Lord, as we journey through this holy week, may we be renewed in our dedication to you and to one another. May our lives be a witness to the transforming power of your grace, and may we shine as beacons of hope in a world darkened by sin and strife. In the name of Jesus Christ, who calls us friends and invites us into the richness of fellowship with you, we pray. Amen. Thanks once again, friends, for joining us today. I'm Oral Campbell. God bless you. Until next time.